Hello, this is your host Akhil Nawaluri, and welcome to the very first Techo Space Podcast Shorts Session. In this short session, we are honored and super thrilled to welcome one of the most eminent and prominent industry leaders pertaining to the IT space, having three and a half decades of experience in the IT space, Mr. Srinivas Nawaluri. And in this podcast short session, he would be giving us a complete discussion, or let's say a brief discussion on the industry 4.0. So talking about the industry 4.0, the topics that he would be covering would be, firstly, it would be talking about the frameworks pertaining to the industry 4.0, the framework that is applicable in real life scenarios for the industry 4.0, and also shedding some spotlight on the concepts of the AI artificial intelligence, the BI business intelligence, the CI cloud integration, DI, the data integration, and EI, the enterprise integration, combined with the smart integration. So off to you, Mr. Srinivas Navluri, and and everyone have a great session. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about the industry 4.0. Uh, before we get into that, uh, just let me take you back to the history. Uh, we will talk about the industry 1.0 that started like around the um, 18th century, where exactly there used to be like you know the invention of um, the railway engine, the steam engine, which has been, you know, invented by James Watt. And then slowly uh, things have changed in the 19th century, where exactly electrical energy has taken its place. And Thomas Alva Edison has come up with the electrical bulb. And then uh, things became a little more prominent, like that related to iron on steel, which had been, you know, uh, discovered that particular... Uh, time and then uh, later into the 20th century uh, things have moved from the steam electricity to the electronic age and then we could actually see that uh, the mainframes has come into existence like uh, mainframes and then we have uh, uh, the organizations like Microsoft, then we have Apple, we have IBM, came up with various kind of technologies that really added value into the electronics age, and then semiconductors, then we have transistors, which actually got invented those particular times. And then, uh, like, things were a little bit mechanical, of course, uh, what exactly used to happen is like in the factories also people just used to use records which were more on to like you know handwritten kind of stuff and all that and even in the transport kind of things there was not much of a technology of course there used to be automotives like we had fiat cars and ambassador cars and everything which was only limited to their particular extent not much of a development and advancement. And then later from 2010 onwards, there is this total drift into internet. Then we had a lot of applications coming up on the software side and then various technologies got developed. But the industry 4.0 has created a, a major revolution into the technology industry, for example. I be able to show you a small set of uh, diagrams. Like we had AI, we had DI, CI, DI, AI. Then, so if you look at it, like we say AI, basically like we are talking about a particular enterprise. So. What is exactly an enterprise? An enterprise is nothing but we take it like it will be having different kinds of functionalities. Like for example, you will be having a finance department, we'll have a manufacturing, then you will be having marketing, we'll have materials. We'll have uh, sales, etc., etc. So, if you look at 
all these particular things each had a functionality to work upon right so when they are working on certain functionalities what is actually the crux for them to do the particular communication between the departments what is the main thing that has added value that is nothing but your data so unless there is data all these departments will not work together right so the result data percolation between the different departments and that's where exactly we have come up with the data integration so now there is a question being asked like where exactly is this particular data getting stored of course it's a huge and humongous data so where it has to be done so this is nothing but your cloud so we have a lot of cloud service providers like microsoft we have amazon and we have you know uh, google have provided the cloud services and all these particular data gets stored now looking into all these particular things the business and enterprises is nothing but a business so how well a business can work so basically it is related to the efficiency on how it works so that is why exactly we got the business intelligence so business is performed but business intelligence makes a huge impact so how well i can do my business so that is where exactly we come up with various kinds of intelligent dashboards tools have come up where they will be able to give what exactly will be the kind of the um same that has to be done in a particular month particular zone and particular gender so what is actually moving the stock everything came up with the business intelligence now we all are understanding that a is playing a very major impact what is a basically all these particular kind of the functionalities everything revolving around is now fed into the machine which will make it more automated and so that your job becomes very efficiently done and how well it has to be done so now we can link up everything with a b a c a d a e a into with s so which we call it as a smart integration so what exactly we are meaning by smart so today if you look at it we come up with smart watches we are doing things very smartly then what exactly it has been done that's what exactly is your industry 4.0 so friends we will be able to look more into detail with related to what exactly is enterprise organization what is data integration what is cloud integration what is the business intelligence and you know artificial intelligence in detail so till that time let's wait and see what exactly will be coming up and what kind of a uh kind of uh, discussion points we will be having in our next session and thank you very much have a good day